Here's what you need to know about taking the new digital SAT. The SATs are changing starting in March of 2024. The paper SATs that students used to take will be replaced by a digital test. Students can take the new digital SAT on their personal laptops or school-provided Chromebooks through an app called Bluebook. Now, it's important to say that the paper exams will still be available for students who have disabilities or vision impairments that make it very difficult to look at a screen for long periods of time. But most students will need to take this new digital test. Along with the new digital format, there are changes to the test itself. First of all, it's shorter. Test time has shrunk from three hours to two. Also shorter, the reading passages that you'll be asked to analyze, though there will be more of them. There's also a built-in calculator for you to use for the whole math section. The SAT will fully take advantage of technology to shape the test you take. How? Your answers to the questions in the first section of both the math and reading portions will determine the level of difficulty of the questions in the following sections. Those more difficult questions will be scored higher, but the benefit is that if you're intimidated by questions you encounter in the first section, that anxiety won't cascade as questions continue because subsequent questions will be tailored to be more manageable for you. Now, test prep is always a good idea. Some students report seeing score increases that range from 90 to 200 points by practicing for the SAT. So make practicing a priority. And the best way to do this is to take a practice test. Here's how to do that. Download the Blue Book app. Find the Practice and Prepare section on the homepage. There you can take a short preview of a test or a complete timed and scored practice test. And if you have any more questions about the new SAT or anything related to college admissions, here's where you can reach us.